My god. That's it, that... He's... One of the larger bosses in this game. I think we have to... I think... Lafontis is the only one larger. I see open doors. Hack security. Oh, I'll grab the other one. Oh, we have to turn it on. This is an empty room. This is also an empty room. Hmm. Maybe we have to deactivate all four of the doors. Interesting. Despite hacking it, it's still marked as hack security. Is that a bug, or does it mean that we need to do them multiple times, or perhaps do them both at the same time? That would be a bit strange. Why did this one turn back? you guys see this thing? See what thing? Razorback. Well, yeah, we, yeah, we can see it. Yeah. No. Maybe we all have to stand under it. Oh. Justin. Hmm? Can you come, come down here, please? Come down here. I am down here. I'm not the one who is missing. Oh, hey! Unfathomable. Oh, I oh, wow. have no energy he suddenly. literally is invincible. <laughs> Time to see if these hacks provide any. Praise the boy! Quit shooting me! Is there anything in here? There's nothing in here. Oh, that's a bus. And. Wow. Well, okay. Something hit me like a freight train. Maybe it has to do with his bursa. Quite possible. Bursa is dead. It's in the door. Still nothing. Perhaps we have to kill all the bursts. Maybe he's just like Jackal and we have to damage his legs in order to get him to become vulnerable? Uh, I did try his legs, that didn't seem to... I'll get list over it. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Hack the bursts. Disregard the Excalibur. Why am I bad? Uh, okay. Probably the same thing that happened to me. Yeah, it's whatever causes the fire rock. It takes down shields really fast. Let's get some oh. shields. Pretty glad I was behind Whoa. the wall there. 
Whoa. Up with the explosives. I gotcha. Be right back. What? Someone left my door open. You fell well, down the pit. Odd. Yeah, I fell down, and then I was actually able to move from there. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's no longer a. Oh, damn it! Why? Can... Why isn't that just a reset spot? Yeah, it used to be. It's odd. Nice save. Ugh. Hi, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Slim Shady. Identifying. Where is yeah. the damn Versa? Over here. Ooh, energy. That's oh. nice. Okay, stop shooting me. That hurts. That hurts a lot. Alright, let's hack the Versa. Where is she? He's down. Another Versa. Or you I got it, I'm invincible. Ah. Well, I kept fire off of you for a while. Back up. Oh, ah, damn stop. it. Who wants this? Who wants this uh, fancy going. affinity Nobody thing? Yeah, it's too late. The thing's done. Also, is anyone else? Never mind. There was some geometry floating in the air. Back extraction from right here. Hmm. about 10 minutes. Of course, we spent the first three running around figuring out what to do. <laughs> yeah. So if I got that right, basically just the bursas pop up every once in a while. We kill them, hack them. That allows us to damage it. Yep. All right. Second prototype. Stratos emblem. Does anyone really care about that? I wonder what I the requirement want to is. Kill. Mission 2, Endurance. Wanna go again? All right. Yeah, sure. So, let's talk about difficulty and rewarding games. Now, in a perfect world, as you progress through a game, enemies and challenges will scale in a geometric or a minorly exponential curve. Incentives and rewards outside of bragging rights should roughly correlate with the difficulty. 
This difficulty can be expressed in new enemies, their strategies, weapons, map hazards, etc., etc. And difficulty can also be increased by simply taking existing threats and increasing their statistics like health, damage, and armor. The biggest problem for developers is balancing the two. Creating new content takes time and money that can be devoted to bug fixing and balance. Simply increasing numbers is easier and can be cost effective for short term events like this one. However, with the latter route, care must be taken that something does not become unfun. The most lack of fun comes when a player feels helpless and powerless. Times when they feel like they had no say on what was occurring. Instant death, literal lack of control, such as stunlock. Absimally high health pools. These are things that give players a feeling of helplessness. There is no point to continue, no matter how hard you try. You will fail. This feeling is particularly amplified if a potential reward is very valuable. You feel taunted, like a child that pulls a treat just out of a dog's reach as it stands up to get it. So why am I talking about this? Well, simply put, this new tactical alert. Stage 1 is fine. In fact, I really enjoyed it. The new boss is... It is a minor reskin of uh, Jackal, but, you know, it looks a lot bigger, looks a lot cooler, and there's a new, basically, there's a new way to defeat it. Stage 2 is less so. Almost immediately, the map is inundated with Bursas. For the uninformed, Bursas will be best classified as mini-bosses. They have a high-ish health pool and require a bit more tact than fill with gunfire to defeat. You may ask about the hyenas dotted around the map. They are straight up bosses taken from the boss node on Neptune. However, their gameplay is literally shoot until they die. The bursts are a bigger problem because of three things. One, bursts can set the alarms off and lock the doors. Two, alarms make more bursts appear, at least in this event. You may already see the problem here. Three, some of the bursts have knocked down. Now, one bursa is a nice spike in difficulty. I wish they would appear once or twice in a mission sometimes. It would slow the pace of the game, give you a second for everyone to catch up, unless you're one of those people that goes into public and just rushes to the end. However, a room full of them and some hyenas? No. That is not fun. It is not fun to be stunlocked by knockdown. It is not fun to be trapped in a room of constantly reinforcing enemies. There is no impact a player can have that is reasonably obvious. While I was writing this though, I did come up with an idea. Atlas, Valkyr, and Rhino have knockdown resistance or immunity. A team of them could presumably deal with this. In addition, air support for the Lyset negates, negates alarms. I have never used it honestly. I see no use for it in normal play. I have never met anyone who's used it ever. Anyway, my point is, this is something that is straight up unfun for me, for pretty much no award. The Stratus emblem, you never see it on another player, or even if they have it on, you just don't look at them. Should every frame and every loadout be able to complete every single mission in the game? No. Should a reasonable loadout, without preemptive knowledge on the situation, be able to at least have a potential for progress and completion? Yes, very much yes. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to get off my chest. Warframe just seems to have that problem. It reeks of artificial difficulty and power creep the, the closer you get to the end game. With the devs knee jerk nerfing everything that comes close that is found to n mitigate the end game grind. And the sad part is, I'll keep playing it. This is one of my favorite games to play, even most of the end game content. Warframe, download it, play it, learn to appreciate the taste of salt. See, this is called bad game design. This is entirely too many passes. Okay, you get that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not dealing with this. This is completely unfair. You literally can do nothing. Sorry. I mean, if it were to give me a legendary court, maybe. But yeah, an emblem is not worth that. That is fair. All right then.